Ah, there it goes. Don't really know what to say, not much of a talker. You ever experience anything strange in your life? Like you saw something weird or something happened that you quite can't quite explain? I've seen some things. I've seen ghosts. Ghosts. Don't know what they really are. Spirits. It's hard to uh, believe something if it doesn't happen to you. You, you. you just don't know until it happens. And, um, I just gotta say, all that stuff is real. I'd say the most ex significant experience I've had was when I was around eight years old. And I was walking to a friend's house. And I got to the corner of my street. I looked down the street and there was a man standing in front of the church that my friend lived next to. And I walked towards him a little bit. And I was, I was scared. I mean, being eight years old, seeing this thing, it was something because... The guy had no face. I, I'm telling you, he had no face. And um, it's just one of those things that you just don't know until it happens to you. And when I walked a little bit closer, this guy jumped up in the air, floated back, and... Um, started floating in the air and then I froze in my tracks and the guy turned towards this crop of bushes and um, he started running full speed but in slow motion so it was like but he was I mean you could tell he was he was booking it so, um, you had to be there. <laughs> it's just one of those things you had, you had to be there. Um, seeing doors open and close really rapidly. And I don't know if that's an air pressure thing with, with wind current or, or something. Uh, seems highly unlikely that it is, but... Um, I'll tell you what, I say the most, the most out of, you're going to get out of this is just a story. It, you have to experience it yourself, otherwise you just, you're just going to always be in doubt of those, uh, of those things. Um, the most recent experience I had was when I was living with my buddy Yosef, um, back then he was known as JC. Um, we lived in this uh, house, kind of like a 
uh, kind of a private street house. It was on a private street. And um, I was in bed sleeping. In case you're wondering if I'm, why I'm looking over, is that I hear things in the house. I think it's just the house moving. Um, our roommate might be home, but I don't think he is. Um, anyways, uh, when I was living in that, that house, um, I woke up one night and over, uh, standing over me was this big black headed creature. Uh, it had a big head, but it was all black. There was no defining features, um, on it. And, uh. It started to pick me up out of bed and I yelled at it really loud. It dropped me and then I went straight back to sleep. Um, I can tell you that some people have dreams that they're in their own room and they're in their own house and whatnot. Uh, from what I experienced, I can pretty much tell you I was, I was awake. I was awake, and um, I mean, I could have been asleep. I, I, I honestly, I, I couldn't tell you one hundred percent, but I'm pretty sure I was awake for it. And uh, um, the thing that kind of validates this experience for me is that my buddy, my my buddy Yosef, he uh, he uh, said that his girlfriend at the time saw that something just like it. And, uh, that kind of just kind of froze me into my core and I kind of felt like that was, that was, uh, telling me, yeah, you saw something, you saw something, uh, official. <laughs> it was a very interesting experience. Um, I can tell you that. The world that we live in is not exactly what it seems. Um, as far as this political system that we have, uh, I believe that they have exceeded their um, capabilities and are running, I don't know, what would you call it? Running wild with it all. They've, they know that they've been found out as a sham and they're not going to stop until uh, somebody probably physically stops them. So, um, I mean, I could keep going on about this subject. I've, uh, I've uh, even researched a lot of it, but um, so that's that's another thing. You know, people, you got to. You gotta research more. You can't just take something at face value, no matter what it is. You have to really uh, look it up yourself. And sometimes it's uh, easy to look up. Sometimes it's not easy to look up. And uh, you, just, you just gotta you gotta find it out for yourself. You can't take anybody's word at face value unless you've known them for a long time. Um, <laughs> I know in some cases, even then, that's not that doesn't hold true. But um, really like it's it's just um, it's something that you got to do I, I, I've, I've noticed a lot of newer generation uh, people have uh, kind of gotten a lot lazier and not done any research and t just take people uh, people's word for it and uh, the internet's great for that kind of deception um, <laughs> you just, you got to figure it out for yourself. It's not something that anybody can really give you. Um, that, that you got to find it out for yourself. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. This world's... Uh, heading down a dangerous path and um, for anything to change people's hearts have to change 
and nothing will change unless their hearts change. And this police brutality issue that America is having right now and pretty much all over the world, the, uh, the hierarchy and their dogs, let's say, um, have uh, reached their limit. Like I said before, they've, they've gotten to the point where it's gotten so corrupt that they can't, they're beyond return. They, they're going to just run rampant with it. Um, and uh, it's, it's just something that, you know, if, if people are listening to this, then the best thing for people to do as, as a group and families especially is to organize. Organize is key. And I think it should spread out just beyond families. It should spread out into neighborhoods, um, possibly cities. Uh, who knows? It might be too late for that. But um, you got you got to organize. You got to make plans for any case, for any situation. Um, depending, you know, some situation probably you have no plan for, it and that's it. Um, it's unfortunate, but. You know, life isn't fair by any means. Um, you have to, uh, you have to make a plan. You got to be solid in it. I'd say the hardest thing that I have to deal with is, is, um, sharing my experiences with people because majority of people have not experienced what I've experienced. Um, more people that I <laughs> have experienced more than I've experienced. And um, it's just, uh, I've kind of, kind of observed humans. And I'm human, I'm not trying to be some something I'm not, but um, they're not organized. They're not, um, they don't come together. Um, certain groups, certain communities do, but majority don't. Um, and I think it's the times. I think the, the, the political industry and the, it is an industry. Um, the music industry, industry, entertainment industry, um, you know, mass media, you know, outlets, they are part of this demise that we are in right now. And, um, you know, the police, I, I said politicians, but they are the cause. Um, the military industrial complex is also the cause. Um, thinking that <laughs> the war is profit. War is profit to them and to a lot of the political leaders. Um, and if you think both sides are working for your whatever ideals that you have in mind, they're not, they're, they, they pander to whatever you want them to say. Uh, they, they will say whatever you want in order to get your vote, in order to get into where they need to be. Um, they really don't give a shit about you. Um, it's plain and simple. Uh, they, are, uh, they are the cause of this world's problems right now. Um, there's other factors, but that's the, that's the, that's the cause. Um, and it leaks out into society and it, it bleeds into society and people suffer for it because they're, uh, they've, uh, I don't know. You just, you gotta, you, people gotta see this. They gotta see it. I'm not going to say, wake up. You gotta see it. Um, you gotta really observe and look and research and search and and observe and organize and do all these things um, without without fail because you you, you got to know what you're getting into as far as political views beliefs whatever um, I mean right now I believe that we're inside God's brain I believe that uh, Ever since that I saw that image of the universe uh, out, it looks like a bunch of brain neurons everywhere. 
uh, it's just that's it, yeah, that's um, the closest thing that that I've seen that kind of really kind of kicked kicked in my brain is like we're part of something way bigger than we can ever even imagine and uh it's just um that's my belief right now and that's my opinion but uh you really you people got to research they got to do it and you can't research all of it i mean it, it takes forever to really research things so you got to pick something you got to find your niche and and go for it and just research the hell out of it and be happy in it know that you are trying to make the better the world a better place um you uh just gotta fight through it all all the doubts that you get all the all the naysayers all the all the sharpshooters you just gotta fight through it because people that laugh and don't actually observe um they're they're fools their definition of fools so um yeah that was kind of a good little rant i did i guess <laughs> never done one of these videos before so um Later.